Hi guys, today I would like to take you through my 2015 system. As you can see, I am using quite some file faxes and even notebooks. Um, some of them I've purchased from the internet, um, others I've made myself, and I do have the system which I'm finding it very, very um, good for me and I feel very comfortable in using it. Um, this year I can say that I have found my planner piece and I am very happy that I have finally found it because um, first of all it was becoming quite expensive to purchase multiple notebooks and multiple file faxes um, and also it was becoming a little bit stressful to change from one system to another all the time because I never seemed to feel uh, comfortable in using any of the systems that I was setting up. Um, but today, which is in April, um, I can say I'm very happy to have found my planner piece. Um, I would like to um, spend a little bit of a note for all those people out there trying to find um, planner piece. First of all, um, whoever is a planner lover and likes filofaxes and stationery will always be drawn to try new products and to watch videos over YouTube and I do it all the time and I always would like all the planners and the systems that I see in all the YouTube videos. But um, as I said before, uh, first of all, it may become even a, a little bit more expensive than you might have budgeted for because you see a lot of things that you like and you would like to own everything. Um, for instance, when I watch videos um, of other YouTubers, um, I cannot just not think about... Um, the supplies that they have, how many sticky notes that I like that they have and pens and notebooks etc. And I always tend to go on the internet and look for the supplies that I see over YouTube channels and that has made it a little bit difficult for me to keep up with the expensive that I was incurring. Um, last year I had multiple systems. I have changed I think through six or seven filofaxes and different planners and different systems and to-dos and bullet journals and uh, Fodoris and uh, Fobonichis and a lot of other uh, a lot of other notebooks basically and I could not find any of the systems that I was using um, comfortable enough to be a long-term one. So I decided to just not uh, let myself get so much influenced with what I was watching over YouTube. And um, I basically uh, focused on what I like and I started taking even notes um, on things that I liked using and what made me drop a system and what made me keep a notebook. Um, and those notes became very useful when I was deciding about what uh, system I was going to use for 2015. So, for instance, it is very good to watch uh, YouTube videos but and even to get inspired, but um, it is still very important that you focus on what makes you feel comfortable, on what makes you feel that uh, you want to use it every day. If you are not looking forward to open your planner, if you feel stressed when you are using your planner, then that is not the system um, good for you. And I can tell you this from personal experience. It might work for someone, but it might not work for someone else. And not every uh, video and not every YouTuber is the same. So basically what might work for one YouTuber might not work for another. So enough with the talking and let's get started with uh, showing you my planner. And the first one that I'm going to take you through is this. This is my Filofax Domino in aubergine dots or spots. I think spots, aubergine spots. Um, and I do use it on a daily basis and it comes with me everywhere. Um, it's in my handbag all the time and I do use it for planning everything. All my whole life is in here. Um, I really love the A5 size, but for next year, I'm really thinking of downsizing. Um, the the planner that I will be using not because I don't like it but because my uh, purse is getting every single day much and much heavier than it was before and I would like just to downsize it for um, 
the benefit of my back and because I've been suffering from back pain and one of the things that I can downsize um, is basically my planner. I do have quite a chunky planner as you can see. I do have a lot of things in it. Um, as I said, it contains basically all my life but I uh, feel the need to uh, want to change a little bit in my system. I will still be using a file of X. It will probably not be a domino and I will still uh, be in love with my file of XA5 but certainly I would not be able to continue to get it round every single day with me in my purse. So the first thing that I have in this pocket is just uh, some sticky notes which are I find them really really helpful and very good to use. They are almost finished but I do have a bunch of these sticky notes wherever in my drawers and I use them really a lot. I have this notebook over here that I'm not going to show you because um, it contains notes about my financials and my budgets and a lot of other things that are connected with uh, finance. Um, I do use it to budget to put a lot of notes about um, how I'm going to spend my money, how I am going to use my savings, etc. And I really find it handy that it is um, in the first uh, place that I have when I open my file effects. Then I have a bunch of photos over here and I do have this plastic pocket and when I open it I do have some page flags, some star stickers and some other stickers over there, some page reinforcements and this is just a couple of labels um, that I also needed some time. Now this might be even used as a dashboard but I do use it as a cover for my file effects because when I do open my file effects I don't like to uh, show my personal uh, information straight away. So the first thing that I have done when I was setting up this file effects was print a cute uh, picture from the internet and I have just got it to an A5 size, I have laminated it and I have added a bunch of stickers and punched holes in it. At the back of the same cover I have this other picture that is also from the internet and I really liked it. At the time I was using this file of X here which is also a domino and I found it that it really matched the uh, file effects that I was using. Um, but anyways, then later on when the Aubergine Spots Domino came out, I just purchased it, but I just transferred everything from that file effects to this one, because I can only tell it to my file effects. I do have um, a couple of uh, important things and keepsakes that I do keep in this uh, top opening uh, envelope, plastic envelope that I've purchased from Filofax. I do have a, a pen holder that I've got from the internet and I attached just a sticker onto it and I have this pen and yeah I have to do it one-handed. I'm sorry I'm filming with my phone and here this is the uh, Schneider Top Liner 967 in purple. Um, this pen I use it to mark my to-dos when they are completed and I really really like to put that very good near uh, things that I have accomplished and it makes me feel really good about it. Then here I have uh, another top opening uh, envelope or pocket, whatever it is in plastic from Filofax. I do keep many of these uh, top opening folders because I do put a lot of stickers and a lot of notes um, at random into them and I can find them as soon as I open my file effects. Here I have a clear sheet, acetate, whatever you call it, and it is full of different sizes of sticky notes that I do uh, use a lot in my file effects. I have a horizontal year planner here which is clipped with a um, uh, magnetic paper clip. I have a calendar and this calendar, this other calendar, I use it to plan my lecturing stuff in it so that I can see that the lessons do not uh, clash one with the other. 
Then I have also another clear plastic with some stickers. That is another dashboard. I do have multiple dashboards. I have in here, this is a file effects clear tab, as you can see. Um, this I used to use it some, uh, I think last year, and I had attached to it sticky notes with double sided tape. When I got to take them off, the uh, glue on the sticky notes couldn't uh, come off, so I had to cover it um, with some washi tape, one uh, near the other, and I made it like this. It's even cuter, I think, um, to it. Now, I hope I can attach it properly. Now, um, this year, my word for the year is stability. And I have found this great picture over the internet and I really liked it because it is about um, leaving all the things, all the negative things behind in 2014 and step on 2015 uh, fresh and happy. And this is what happened to me this year. I decided that I wanted to start a new year with a lot of good things. And I can tell you I'm very happy because now that is what I am doing. I had a bunch of sticky notes here, um, but I removed them for the sake of this video. What I did is I've taken some um, paper, um, I think it was from cardstock, and I have just glued it glued the picture and laminated it, punched holes and put it in my planner. These are my 2015 engagements. I had a couple of resolutions, a couple of objectives and I've just listed them out here, laminated it and put it um, in all my planners. So you will be seeing this list quite often in all the uh, notebooks and planners that are coming. This is uh, this is your year, and I was very inspired by one of the videos um, of uh, Alexis, Miss Trenchcoat, and I did print it and I attached it also in my planner. I have the changes that I wanted to do in my 2015 because this is my year, and I've listed them out and printed them too. Now we come to a calendar. First of all, I would like to explain that these dividers, all of them, all the ones that you will be seeing, I've made them out of wrapping paper. I do have a video explaining how you can do such dividers from wrapping paper. I've done them myself and I've just put washi tape and punched the holes into it and put on label labels on each tab. This is for calendar, but I do have for to-dos, for project management, etc. This is a pen that I have attached to a uh, uh, with a clip to another of those Filofax clear dividers. Um, I won't be taking you into my calendar because there are personal things, obviously, but I will be showing what type of calendar do I have in it. And I have put this uh, heart-shaped paper clip so that I can go straight to the section I want and I am able to show you for the sake of this video. So, if I go into these uh, Filofax, uh, inserts for the calendar. Um, I believe they are the business ones and I have a column here which is for appointments. I have my to-dos for that day. I have the phone correspondence, tasks to delegate and personal reminders and I really really like this setup. I'm not sure whether this setup is available for the personal size but if it was I would certainly go for it even for the personal size because it is really really organized and it helps me to keep up with everything that I have for that day. I have the uh, one day per page and I really like it. So um, the next section is my to do's. Um, I'm sorry but I won't be showing you each and every section that I have into this planner. I will be just skipping from section to section because there is too much uh, personal information into this file effects. So as you can see I do have the tabs colored here and every uh, tab has been made from wrapping paper and just decorated uh, with stickers etc. 
Um, these pockets here, these sticky notes pockets, I've purchased them from Happy Scrappy. Um, I will also give you the link down below as well as that of Mrs. Uh, Miss Alexis Trenchcoat, if I'm not mistaken, so that you can find also her videos and her channel over there. Um, this is my to-do section. The next section is for projects, as you can see. And then I have a section for purchases, another for media, another for finance, for health, and for notes. At the back, I have this. It is a very thick uh, card cardboard. I think you can see that, um, which helps to keep the pages at the back quite straight. Here I only have a plastic bag that I have decided to use for uh, papers because instead of keeping blank papers into my planner and bulk it up with in the rings even more than what it is already bulked up um, I decided just to put them here and whenever I need a blank paper I can just come to this uh, plastic bag grab the paper and put it in my planner so that's it for this uh, Filofax Domino um, and I will take you through the rest of the 2015 system now, I will go before I even show you my other domino there to this notebook. I have got it over the internet. As you can see, it is becoming quite fat, I think. Um, and I use this um, as my uh, journal. I have seen so many videos. I have watched many videos about the Fobonichi and I couldn't find one notebook which was chunky like this and in grid paper. So I did purchase from eBay one of these notebooks. Um, I don't know the brand because they are not branded, I believe. The only thing that they have here is My Life Story. It's like embossed in the cover and it has an elastic band like that. I have added the pen but it has a pen loop from it and it comes with a cover you can see. It's quite chunky. I'm going to show you the first pages because then there are quite some photos that I wouldn't like to um, let anybody uh, see them over the internet. Um, I hope that you can understand the matter. Um, the first thing that I did for this year was your mission. Feel good about who you are, what you do, um, how you think and how you look without needing anybody's approval. Um, and then what I did was I attached a couple of quotes from the internet before I started um, basically journaling about the first day. Um, of the year. I started journaling from this very first uh, day and then I continued with my journaling there and attaching pictures etc. And I have arrived till this page. So I think it's getting a little bit chunky with all the pictures that I am attaching. Um, all those out there that know what a Fobonichi is about um, I think they can understand what I have included in this notebook. It is made of blank papers and it is very, 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 very chunky. But I really like the chunkiness of this because at least I can continue to use it between one year and another until it gets uh, all completed and exhausted. Now, I will show you my Filofax Domino in patent pink or hot pink, I don't know what they call it. And I use this um, as my filing cabinet. I do have multiple lists in it and I do put whatever I need uh, to use. But I don't need it on a daily basis and I don't need to keep it in this domino over here. So whatever does not need to come with me on a single uh, daily basis um, at work and wherever I am but I still need to use it 
it can stay at home and it can stay at home in this binder. It is still very chunky even there but it holds a lot of blank papers and I do have my filing cabinet in there and my A to Z uh, tabs there. So let's get started. I don't have anything in this pocket here. I do have a zip pocket which holds a couple of paper clips, a ruler, and usually it also holds a couple of uh, pens and pencils, etc. This is just um, a piece of cardstock that I have punched holes into it, added pictures of Hello Kitty, and just put it as a cover to my planner. These are gorgeous to-do lists and shopping lists over here. Then I have the Filofax stickers. I have a cover from Filofax. I have some pictures that I had printed from the internet too and I have just put them there. Uh, I have glued it back to back with another with the Filofax pink uh, cover that came with the planner. I have a mapping system. I have the same 2015 engagement sheet. I have a clear acetate. Um, it came with one of the planners I believe and I have attached to it some sticky notes and these are the sections to my uh, to this planner to this um, file of Exodomino which is my uh, filing cabinet and the index shows brain dump section project management to do notes food journal and lists um, I have another section for project management even in this one over here but the ones that I have in this domino here um, are projects that have to be accomplished um, this year while the project management section here is something that I plan in the long term. They might get done, they might not get done, but are things that I would like to do. So they do not have a timeline, they do not have um, an expire date or whatever you, you may call it. Um, so I do keep it here. Um, I'm going to skip uh, straight away to the sixth section here. Um, I don't know what I can show you and what I cannot here. Okay, this is the healthy lifestyle. This is um, divider number five, which has health notes. And here I do have a lot and a lot of things that you can eat, you cannot. I have recipes, I have tips and tricks for getting back motivation when you feel depressed. I have a template for a food journal that I was planning to use this year, but I did not. Um, I did not use it. Maybe I will be using it later on. I don't know. But I found it very stressful to have to journal and write every single thing that you write that you eat, and I did not use it at that point. Um, I think I've used it for one or two weeks at the beginning of this year and then it basically uh, got dumped. It's important to say that this is a template that I got from the internet. I do not uh, hold any rights to it. I believe it may even be copyrighted, but I have been using it for my personal use and I did not actually use it because I did not like it. And as I said, I found it very, very stressful to have to uh, write whatever I was eating during the day. I, I do not have even the time to do that. Section 6 is about lists and here I have my A to Z file effects dividers. And these dividers do hold practically every list that I have and I have multiple lists about books, about shoes, about handbags, about my whole world. Um, I am planning to do a binder which will incorporate every type of list and therefore these will probably be taken out of this binder but I am still working on that project. Whenever that project will get will be ready I will be filming a video and showing you what um, I will be incorporating in this binder. So this is completed. I have uh, taking you through that. Now, I have this 
small notebook over here that I will be very careful about how am I going to open it. It's a week on two pages and I think it's the A6 size, I probably think so. I have one like this for my office and I have an another one which is this one for lecturing. I do lecture um, different subjects um, and I also do work full-time um, in a business, uh, in something of a category of the business sector, I can say. Um, and I do keep appointments at hand for both lecturing and for both, uh, for both lecturing and my full-time job. And this is very handy to keep with me in my handbag, this one and the other one, so that whenever I have to take an appointment, I will just um, look at these two diaries. Obviously, what will be written in these two diaries will be also in my Filofax Domino over here. But um, if I just have to see at some point in time what type of uh, lecturing I have given or how many lectures I had over uh, a year or a particular month or I have to track down the expenses or what I have to be paid for, I just can go to this one and I will get uh, only lecturing uh, notes and materials. The same applies to my full-time job. So I like to keep track just of uh, one subject at a time by using these small notebooks over here. What I have here, and by the way, this is also very personal. All the things that I have shown you is are very, very personal and I cannot show you everything. But I hope that you get the idea and you may get inspired with this. Um, I like pinks and purples and everything you see, I think um, from my side, it's always and or almost always uh, pink and purple. But I keep this binder at home. And in it, I have all the things that does not fit into a planner. I have different sections. I have uh, this cardstock paper that I have laminated. And I have uh, some sticky notes over here. The one side is pink. The other side is yellow, just to make it a little bit more sturdy than it used uh, to be before because it was bending over and it was not so good um, to keep sticky notes on it. Um, and I have different color sticky notes. I have a uh, uh, some page reinforcements over there, some stamps, some notes, and I have my file index here. Upcoming events is the first section, financial matters is the second section, employment full-time and employment part-time, my apartment, career, personal matters, health notes and miscellaneous matters. I have 10 dividers, as you can see these grey ones over here and 2 and 3 and they are separated, separating the documents according to this file index. I do keep... Um, these here, uh, these papers, these documents and this file um, at home, I do not, I used to take this uh, file with me, but then I had just to leave it at home because it had become too much heavy for me to uh, take with me everywhere, even at the office and I had to change that system, but I still can keep up with it. I have all the documents that have something pending in them. As you can see, it is a little bit chunky, getting chunkier at the moment because I have a lot of pending things going on in my life, but um, I do leave it on my desk and whenever I need something, I just open it up and uh, get the documents that I need to take away with me. Um, and I also update it on a regular basis, so it helps me to keep much more organized. The last thing that I'm going to show you in this video, I have filmed many videos about trifolds um, and about four dories, and I still, I believe, I have still to post to YouTube, um, to my channel, uh, videos about my trifolds. But I have. Uh, shown you how to do your 
uh, for Dory's. This is just another version in a trifold version, however. And I've done it completely myself with the band, with the charms, with the clip. And I have just a couple of uh, extra sheets, color sheets here, just in case I will need any uh, papers, just to write whatever it is. And as you can see, this guy is really chunky and I do have even other ones. And I will be uh, setting up these uh, two of these trifolds um, and hopefully I will also be uh, filming videos when I have uh, settled them completely the way I intend to be using them. So the first thing that I have is a zip pocket. Here I have a uh, uh, secretarial pocket that I've got from Happy Scrappy and then I have the other side of the secretarial pocket with some of the uh, sticky notes. I have a booklet which I have named Crafts and Organization and there I do put all the types of uh, notes about things that I see over YouTube that I would like to try, that I would like to purchase, systems, organizational systems that other YouTubers have. So I basically um, try to take and grab much of the information that other YouTubers just uh, put out there for, for me, for us, for everyone. I have another zip pocket which has page flags, different stickers and these are also magnetic, uh, magnetic page markers and they are on another zip pocket here. Then I have notes about my organization. As I said, whenever I'm going through an organizational system, I always, always, always keep notes about how good I am feeling or how bad I am feeling. These notes just help me to set up uh, feasible organizational systems in the coming year so that I don't spend a lot of money on systems which I won't be using. Um, then I have the other side of the zipper pocket. I have another zipper pocket, which is, um, no, these, the two sides, they are just two zipper pockets that I have attached with clear tape. You can see the tape over here and just slipped from one side to the other of, uh, the booklets. I have a wish list booklet and I do keep all the pictures about the places and the things I want to do and even the stationery shops, yes. I have a health stuff booklet and here I do put everything that has to do with diet, with health and things that I watch over the internet. Then I've got a journal and here I do write whatever comes to my mind. I always believe that you need a journal to be with you. Um, even though the trifold, I do keep it at home because it's too chunky and for now it's, it has not been set up to be functional but only to hold notebooks and things which I uh, need to use but I don't need on a daily basis. Um, I still incorporated a journal. And that is the last booklet that I have in